Hi guys, it's Darlene and welcome to my kitchen. All right, you know what that means. It's another recipe. It is so rainy and dreary out. So the recipe guys is grilled chicken with a artichoke lemon butter caper sauce. So yummy. So, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, let's talk ingredients. What do we need? Okay, first and foremost, chicken. Chicken would be helpful. I uh, have talked about this before. I like the thin sliced uh, chicken breast. Uh, they cook fast, they grill nice, they're moist. This is what I prefer. Along with the chicken, we're gonna go ahead and need a, either white or red onion, yellow onion, whatever you have, about three fourths of a cup. Artichoke hearts. Now, this is the kind that I get. I get them in water, because you just want um, the nice, fresh artichokes. And here's what they look like, and I've just chopped them up, and this is a little bit more than half a cup. What well, This is the second time I've made this dish, so with this, uh, what do we have, 14 ounce jar, I've um, used it twice, so half a jar, if it's a 14 ounce jar. You will need green onion, two lemons, capers and this is what capers look like you'll find them more than likely in the pickle aisle you know wherever pickles are in your grocery store olive oil salt pepper lemon pepper because i am going to grill them with the lemon pepper seasoning because we're making a lemon sauce and then did i say butter i can't remember butter and you need four tablespoons. Sounds like a lot, but that's what our sauce is going to be made of. So, chicken broth, and the Simply Organic doesn't have any carbs in it at all. And then, heavy whipping cream. You'll need just a touch of this. Let's go ahead and begin. The first thing I'm gonna do is grill my breast. So okay, so I, I have my grill pan on high. I've put a little bit of olive oil on it. I'm going to go ahead and season my chicken breasts with the lemon pepper sauce. This one is from Adam's Reserve, but any seasoning that you love, put on. And then I'm also going to salt and pepper them. Like this. So if you, instead of grilling, I just, I love grilling. Uh, instead of grilling, you could go ahead and just put these uh, chicken, in the oven with a little bit of olive oil or butter and then a little bit of lemon. As you will see, that's what I'm going to do here. So we're just gonna put these on. Now I'm gonna go ahead and season the other side. And we're gonna put some fresh cracked pepper. Now, I've cut a lemon in quarters, so I'm gonna take two of those quarters and I'm going to squeeze some lemon juice on them and then I'm going to put the lemon on the grill. While that's grilling, I'm just gonna take about, these are pretty small green onions, so I'm gonna take three of them, give them a wash, and chop them up. I'm gonna go ahead and flip the chicken. So by grilling the lemon pieces here, you will actually get not only the rest of the lemon juice, but the lemon pulp, and it just flavors anything you're cooking so deliciously. So I always grill my lemon. And I'm just gonna see, see how much juice is it's just amazing. And you will just end up with nothing but peel. You'll have all that beautiful flavor. Now you don't have to cook these all the way completely through because you're gonna finish them in the sauce. Switched it up just a bit, guys. I sometimes do that, as you know. Um, I realized I had some uh, mushrooms that needed to be cooked, so I took six mushrooms they're small, they're about this big, okay? And all I did was slice them, thinly slice them. I'm gonna add those in. All right, let's start with our sauce. We have our four tablespoons of butter with a tablespoon of olive oil. 
We're gonna saute our onions. Again, red, yellow, white, doesn't matter. And then we're also going to saute our new ingredient, which would be the mushrooms. We're gonna add some pepper. And a little bit more of that lemon pepper seasoning. So really bring out that lemon flavor. It's a really simple recipe, but it's absolutely delicious. So we're just gonna saute this lightly. And then I'm going to add the artichoke hearts. And two tablespoons of capers. I've already drained them from the first time that I did it. And this isn't, you don't wanna come out. And if you wanna add a little bit more capers, absolutely. Okay, I'm gonna turn this down to low. Now I'm gonna use lemon zest. Lemon zest has so much flavor in it. So just take a microplane and um, you can see here, see all that beautiful lemon zest? and that has so much flavor way more than the lemon juice At this point we can go ahead and add salt you don't need to add too too much because the capers are salty some fresh ground pepper go ahead I have my lemon here and I'm going to thinly slice it nice and thin and I'm just going to put those in. Want lots of lemon flavor. It cuts through the richness of the butter. Doesn't that sauce look just so yummy? Now we're going to add a little bit of chicken broth. Add the green onions in. See how that just brightens the look? So beautiful. Oh my god. That is so good. I just took a little piece of the artichoke. Mmm. And taste that lemon. Just delicious. I was testing for seasoning. We need a little more fresh ground pepper. We're gonna take a tiny bit of heavy cream. We need a thickener, and of course we can't use flour, so it's really gonna be a very small amount, maybe hmm, half a tablespoon. And you see that's just gonna thicken it just a little. I'm gonna turn it down to low, and I'm gonna go ahead and put in our chicken breasts. They've been over here resting. The lemons that we had grilling and I'm gonna put them right on top and just let this simmer on low. I'm gonna cover it. All right guys, so we you could eat this right right off the bat as soon as the chicken's done um, and cooked but honestly if you let it just simmer for even 20 minutes to get all those flavors so the flavor of the green onion the flavor of the lemons the flavor of the onions it will just taste that much better the little tartness of the capers so good um we're not having dinner for several hours so i'm going to actually turn this heat off and just let it sit and then um, serve it with the cauliflower puree tonight. There you have it guys, very, very, very simple.